going to be going through everything I use when I ride. We're going to start off the review with my Vans shoes. I got these Vans from a garage sale, I'll tell you the truth. So I don't really know anything about them, don't know how much they were. All I know is that they've served me well in the, let's say, half a year that I've been using them. They've stood up very well, and they just grip onto platform pedals, which is what I use on all my bikes. They grip platform pedals really well. It almost feels like clip-ins when you're in. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with these. My guess is they were around 50 bucks new. That's a complete guess. I'll have to check that out. But uh, you could probably find yourself a pair of these on, I don't know, anywhere for like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. But uh, I really do recommend any Vans shoes for biking. Except for BMX, I haven't found them the best because they uh, don't have the best heel support or stuff like that. But mountain biking, amazing. BMX, not as much, but they're still a really, really good shoe. Okay, we'll go from the ground up. And second thing we'll be reviewing are my knee pads. These uh, knee pads I had just recently bought after my crash video. There's a link to it at the end of the video, and then also if you look at the top right, there'll be an eye, so go watch that video of my worst crash. Right after that, I uh, in that crash, I hurt my knee, so right after that, I went straight to the store and bought a pair of knee slash shin pads, and that's where I got these Fox Racing Launch knee slash shin guards, is what they're called. I got them around, I think, 80 bucks at uh, Mud, Sweat, and Gears, which sounds like a lot of money, and it is a lot of money, but these are really high quality racing or uh, knee pads and they even say you can use them for motorbiking so uh, I'm really happy with these they've stood up really well haven't been using them for too long but uh, with my experience they're really really cool up next is my hydro pack this is my first hydro pack I've ever gotten and that was probably three to five years ago and it hasn't had an issue, and it's been really stable, and I've been really happy with it. One thing I really appreciate about this design is it's, I think this is all MEC uh, hydro packs, is that it has like a Ziploc kind of a, a, a bladder, which is where the water is kept. It's a two liter bladder, and it's a really, really wicked design, because it's, uh, it's really nice for taking it out and in. And uh, it's not attached to the bag like some hydro packs are. So it's quick release and you can take it out and just use it as a backpack. Been really happy. And uh, if you're looking to buy one of these for yourself, I don't completely know how much. But my guess is somewhere from like 50 to 100. But that's the newer versions because they don't make this... Uh, this product anymore they probably make newer versions but they do not make this part but you can get a newer one that's probably better and holds like three liters but uh, I've been really happy with this then are my gyro gloves I bought these gloves around the end of last season so I haven't been riding them for too too long but so far they've held up really well the problem with my last gloves was that I wore holes in them uh, quite a few actually and, uh, but those were good gloves also, but these gloves have done really well, and one feature I really like is that on the fingertips, it has a little, like, sticky part where you can actually use the gloves if you're on your phone or anything, but, uh, I really like these gloves. And, uh, they're around 40, 40 bucks, I don't know what I paid for them, they're gyro d, &D gloves, I'll have the link, go check it out. Then last but not least, my gyro helmet. I got this helmet about a year ago, same with a lot of my other equipment, and uh, I really really like this helmet, even though I'm not that much of a helmet connoisseur like others are. It's uh, It has good breathing, it's a nice helmet, comfy, but uh, you can get it by around 25 bucks, so uh, you should definitely go get it if you d don't have a helmet right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means so much to me, and it means so much to my loving little dog that you guys watch this video. Hey, Ray? Yeah, yeah. If you could talk, you'd say thank you so much. But uh, thanks so much. I'll have the links for probably everything except for the vans. I really have no idea what the vans are. But uh, I'll have the links, so check the description. 
below. But uh, thank you guys so much. Remember to like and subscribe. Almost to 100. I'm so psyched. Maybe we'll throw a little dog in the water too, eh? I don't think he likes the sound of that. But uh, let's get to 100. That's going to be awesome. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.